Alright, hey guys, what's going on? Uh, Rudlin all here, coming back at you with more Python code. We're still looking at unicurses, and, uh, man, we've got a lot of stuff going on, because we're gonna be getting into some more, not so much advanced things, but more interesting things than the more, like, basic, fundamental stuff, uh, in end curses. So, I wanna show you guys some pretty useful, and, like, kinda really handy-dandy, and, like, nice-to-have functions, cause they, they make our output more clear, and a lot more distinctive, it's, it's more of what we want it to be. It allows us to do things that are even fancy, too. So, Typically, we use start color, right? In the last tutorial, that allowed us to actually use color in our program. Now, actually, when we are always displaying stuff, um, if we're displaying anything, or at least if we're getting input anyway, what we're kind of always doing is we're echoing our input. And you guys probably know the console command echo, and what that does is it displays standard output. So let me, let me show you what a, an example of this. If I set, like... A similar setup to what we had before, running can equal true, that's a boolean variable that we'll just loop with, so while we're running, uh, key can equal get ch, so that's going to be our input. If key is equal to 27, that's when we'll quit, so running can equal false. Remember that it has to be capitalized, and we'll just break out of the loop. Alright, let's run this, if I get my terminator up. If I run Python curse uh, da, 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 curse o two, there we go. Okay, so it's just doing its thing, waiting for our input. I can type stuff, blah 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 blah, and I hit escape, and it's it's done, right? Okay, so you saw though that when I typed all this stuff, it keeps displaying that onto the screen. Well, if if we were kind of like making a game or not so much a game, or at least something interactive that's that's fun and we can control a character. We don't want it to display every single character or every every button that we press, right? That's just a little funky. <laughs> so we can turn that off. There's a function that allows us to do this called no echo. And that's easy to understand, right? It it doesn't echo. Let's run the program one more time. Blah 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 blah. You can like hear me typing, but nothing happens. We're not getting the output that we had before. That's good. <laughs> like, that. that's really good. Thumbs up, guys. We did it. Good job. Pat on yourself on the back. <laughs> so, that's the function that we're going to be using. No echo. And there's another one, though, because you can see there's the cursor. There's this blinking, stupid, aggravating white block. And that, we don't want that, right? So we can turn that off as well. If I break out of the program, there's a function that we can use called curse, C-U-R-S, underscore set, and what this will take is a boolean variable as to whether or not the cursor should be on, which is true, or off, which is, which is false, obviously. So we're going to pass this in as false. If I run the program now, if I actually navigate to it, you don't see that blinking thing anymore. It's just a entirely black box. Our shell is running the way that it should. I can press stuff and nothing's happening, but if I hit escape, we break out of our program and we're back at our shell. Awesome, right? <laughs> okay, pretty soon though, we're going to be getting into controlling stuff. We're going to be moving around with arrow keys. And arrow keys are special characters, they're special keys. So we have to be able to turn them on. And the way we do that is a special function called keypad. And keypad, K-E-Y-P-A-D, what that takes is the screen ID, which is standard screen, and then yes, which is the Boolean variable as to whether or not our keypad's going to be on or not. So yes, it's going to be on, which is true. Okay. Now, if I run this code, you can't see any difference, but you're going to have to take my word for it that I can press the arrow keys, and Ncurses is going to be able to register and understand that. It knows that things are happening. It knows that we're getting these um, arrow keys as key codes whenever we press a key. Okay. Those are just some quick and easy functions that I'm going to be showing you guys. We're going to get into them more and use them a lot more, especially later on in, uh, in future tutorials. So uh, thank you guys for bearing with me on this one. Pretty easy, pretty simple stuff. Just uh, some things to introduce to you. And uh, I hope you'll be sticking with me for the next couple of tutorials. Bye.